What's up guys, it's James here. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about building a glamping retreat to use as an as Airbnbs. Now this has become a pretty popular thing to do. A few different people uh, on here on YouTube have some really cool projects on the go. And I wanna talk about our project as well as the project of some of the uh, students that we're working with and mentoring uh, that they have on the go because this is a really, really cool opportunity in the Airbnb and short-term rental space. So for any of you who don't know, a glamping retreat is basically when you're buying a plot of land typically, um, and then you are uh, generally gonna buy a plot of land that actually has a property on it, and that main property can then be used as a short-term rental itself. Uh, but then you're also gonna have, if you have you know several acres of land, you're gonna be building all kinds of different sort of tiny homes, geodesic domes, A-frames, uh, you know, you can get like an Airstream trailer, all these really cool things that you're putting up on Airbnb, and then basically just using all that land for all of these sort of auxiliary dwelling units that are then gonna cash flow really really well. Um, and so I'm going to talk a, bit, a little bit about the project that we have on the go, as well as some of the projects that some of these students who are working with directly have on the go. So that if you are interested, you can start to build a glamping retreat of your own uh, and really pull in some incredible cash flow numbers, which I'll also talk about more in this video. Now, before I do that, um, if you are interested in working with us and having us kind of hold your hand through the whole process and show you exactly how to invest successfully in short-term rentals, how to build a glamping retreat, whatever you might be interested in the short-term rental investing space, we can definitely help you with it. So make sure that you check out the free train that is linked in the description down below. That's going to help you uh, and take you through sort of the step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step process that we use for investing successfully in uh, Airbnb and short-term rental properties, as well as for properly building out and successfully building out uh, any kind of auxiliary dwelling units at our properties. So again, the link is in the description down below for that free training. We're also going to give you some free tools and you'll have the opportunity to set up a direct one-on-one -on -one call with our team completely free um, for us to help map out a roadmap for you to accomplish your goals for short-term rental investing. So that being said, if you do like this video um, throughout this, if you get value from what I'm about to share with you, make sure you hit that like button because it does really help me with YouTube's algorithm. Let's jump into it now. So uh, for glamping retreats, one of the biggest, most important things in my opinion is that you really want to buy a property that is going to perform well and cash flow well, even without those retreats, those sort of auxiliary dwelling units. So for example, um, we just actually recently purchased a property with 100 acres of land. So there's got tons of space for us to expand and start developing ADUs. And we're already building a geodesic dome there. We have plans for a few other auxiliary dwelling units at the property as we grow and expand. But the really cool piece is that that property already cash flows well on its own without any of those auxiliary dwelling units just by renting out the main house on Airbnb. In fact, we actually bought this property that has a really large garage so we can even convert the garage into another tiny house. Um, it's a fully detached garage and so we can actually convert that into a tiny home. We're looking at options of doing that and that's a whole other auxiliary dwelling unit that's pretty much already built, right? And so. Uh, really, that's an important piece because like I talk about in other videos, your cash flow is what protects you. It's the margin for error, it's the buffer, it's your safety net. Um, that's what's gonna mean that you're never gonna have to sell the property so that even if the market does go down, you're never gonna be having to sell at a loss as long as that property cash flows positive. And so the reason that we wanna buy properties that cash flow positive without the ADUs is so that we have that safety net. And then once you do that, it's really cool to be able to go and expand and build out other auxiliary dwelling units. And I wanna talk a little bit more about exactly which types of ADUs to build. So we started out with a geodesic dome. For anyone who doesn't know what that is, it's basically just a big kind of plastic dome essentially with a whole section of it that's clear so you can get these really beautiful views out of it. There's all kinds of them on Airbnb in different areas Areas, and they tend to perform really, really, really well. They get great numbers because they're so unique and they're so cool to stay in. The views are incredible. It's something totally different from what people are used to staying in if they live in you know, a house or an apartment or whatever, uh, whatever it might be. The other cool thing is that they're relatively inexpensive to buy. I've broken this down in other videos and broken down just how much they can earn, which spoiler alert, it's between generally about 40 to $100,000 a year that they can bring in as a short-term rental and setting them up, really decking them out, getting them fully furnished only costs about $40,000. On the low end for a smaller unit, you can get it set up for about 15 to $25,000. So the return is absolutely incredible on these properties because they're inexpensive to 
buy and set up, um, and they perform really, really well on Airbnb because of how unique and cool they are. Um, there are other types of properties that do perform well also. Airstream trailers that are converted, they can be, they can be really cool and do really well. Um, you know, tree houses can, uh, can perform exceptionally well. They can be really, really cool. And my rule of thumb is that if I'm looking at an ADU, really the uniqueness is going to be what sells it. So it's not really enough to build a structure that's just gonna be cool and small. You really want something that's actually gonna be unique and that staying in that property is gonna be an experience in and of itself because that's really the reason that people are, are booking these unique properties is for the experience of it. And so that's what you really wanna have guide you. Now, another cool idea and another cool sort of strategy with this type of investing is you can buy a property that has something cool going for it already and run it as a sort of glamping retreat and uh, combine certain experiences in with that. So I'm actually working with a few different students that are doing this right now. One of them has a maple farm up a few hours north of Toronto, and they're gonna be basically having a maple experience as well as the main property is gonna be on Airbnb as well as some auxiliary dwelling units. Um, and it's in a really cool location where you can go snowmobiling there in the winter. Um, it's a really, really cool, unique property. And you know, how many other opportunities are you gonna get to go and actually, you know, live on a maple farm for a little bit and be able to, you know, drink for and eat fresh maple syrup that's right there on the farm. So really cool there. They can also have animals and different opportunities there for uh, different experiences. And we've even got another uh, student that we're working with over in California, and they've got a property where they're gonna be growing uh, marijuana, they're gonna be growing cannabis on the property, and there's all kinds of cool experiences that they're looking into from you know uh, mountain biking to uh, ATV excursions, and then having some really cool glamping pads set up. They've got this beautiful cabin at the top of the hill that's got a sauna and these beautiful views, and then another big, beautiful property at the bottom of the valley. Um, and so it's this really, really cool, beautiful set with all this opportunity for different experiences that they can have there, um, animals again, all these different really cool things. And ultimately, that's a big part of the drive for guests on Airbnb is the actual experience of staying in that place. You know, if they just wanted a place to rest their head at night, they would typically just book a hotel. But Airbnb is superior uh, because it offers these really, really cool experiences. And so the more that you can do to make your property, your glamping retreat, your auxiliary dwelling unit, whatever it might be, a cooler and more uh, fun and exciting and interesting uh, experience for your guests, the better it's gonna do overall. So again, if you're interested in learning more about exactly how to do this, how to invest in short-term rentals, and how to really crush it on Airbnb, um, and invest in the best properties that are gonna perform well, uh, and that are not gonna take a tremendous amount of time for you to manage, then I highly recommend you check out the free training that is linked in the description down below. Um, that's gonna walk you through everything step by step by step. And you'll, like I said, also have an opportunity to set up a free one-on-one -on -one strategy call with our team, where we'll help to outline a roadmap for you so that you can invest successfully in short-term rentals. Again, all that completely free and only available for a limited time. So if you are interested, make sure you click the link in the description down below. Like I said before, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I do really appreciate it. it helps me out tremendously with growing this channel and getting these videos in front of more people. So please just take a half a second and hit that like button. Make sure you're also subscribed to the channel if you're not already, so you can stay up to date with the two new videos that we post every single week. And then last but not least, make sure that you comment if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, anything that you wanna share with me, just leave that for me in the comment section down below. All that said, have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video.